The content I'm about to show you has already pissed off countless carnivores. Oops. Sorry. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I feel like the vegan world right now just needs a little something. A little entertainment, a little spice, a little sass. And your boy has been feeling sassy. So here's what I did. I went out in public and asked people a series of different questions to get their brain thinking about veganism in a different way. For example, one of the things I did is I showed two pictures and I said, which one do you think is vegan? Which do you think is carnivore? The answers are pretty hilarious and definitely has the carnivore community a little pissed. So I've been taking these public interviews and editing them into pieces of content and slowly releasing them on Instagram and on YouTube. But today I want to watch all of them together with you guys and just give you a little bit of my reactions as we watch them live. This is going to be really, really fun. So react with me as you watch this in the comments below. Now let's get started. I'm gonna show you pictures of a couple people and you tell me if you think they're vegan or carnivore. Okay. This is Nima Delgado, vegan or carnivore? Carnivore? Because I he looks really familiar. Oh, it's very difficult. Carnivore? I would say carnivore. Carnivore. I'll go carnivore. Okay. Don't know, it's muscle. yeah, more muscle. A lot of than mass. Vegan. A lot of mass, yeah. yeah. Surprise, surprise. Everybody thinks Nima is carnivore because he's got so much mass. Who would have known? Uh carnivore. Carnivore, why do you think that? He looks bulky. I don't know. Like, He's really big. Yeah. Carnivore. Looks like he would eat a lot of protein. I'd probably go carnivore. Carnivore and why? Just some of the, the, the size that he has on there. Probably heavy in fat intake to help build that out a little bit more. Yeah, like a lot of mass. Yeah, a lot of mass, good mass there. <laughs> okay, I'm laughing. I've seen this so many times, but it's just so funny because everybody assumes that if you're big, you got to eat meat. Watch the reactions as they find out Nima is not carnivore. So I'll tell you who's who. Nimai, vegan. Whoa, yeah. damn. Oh my god, yeah. okay. Are you surprised? I am kind of surprised. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, is that okay. surprising? I learned something today. <laughs> so not surprising, right? But everybody thought that Nimai was carnivore. There was maybe like one or two people out of the 20 people that we talked to who was like, I think he could be vegan. And then they would say something about like, he looks really healthy, which I thought was a cool reason to assume someone's vegan. But as we know, you grow up in America and you're taught that milk equals strong bones, meat equals muscle. So it's exactly what I thought. All right, let's watch the next one because I, I definitely threw a little a little shade towards the carnivore community. I'm gonna show you guys a picture of two guys. One of them is carnivore and one of them is vegan. Which one do you think is the carnivore? Well, that's vegan. That's yeah, that's, right is yeah. That's vegan. Rice that's carnivore. Rice carnivore, that is vegan. That's so actually, this guy's the vegan. I told you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just love his reaction. Wow! Wow! <laughs> That's so good, dude. It's so good. Like I saw you guys. Yeah, before, like before. Like I really yeah, think like vegans skinny, right? are usually like lean and yeah. skinny. When you guys first saw me, would you have assumed that I'm carnivore or vegan? Carnivore. So quick with the answer on that. And honestly, it you know before I was vegan, especially before I lifted. I would have definitely assumed the same thing. It, I, I can't blame anybody. Like, there's just not that much information about veganism. All of us are consuming tons of vegan content. We're plugged in. But the general person is really not seeing any content about veganism. It really has no clue that there are so many good examples of, you know, gaining muscle and being fit as a vegan. So when I say that the carnivore community is super pissed about this, let me read just a couple of these comments. So good. Dumb as F challenge. Different training. Wow, what a ridiculous comparison. People can be all shapes and sizes regardless of diet. That, that is true. That cheating one guy, Jim, the other doesn't. And almost all IFBB pros are not vegan. What's your point? That's a comment that I've gotten a bazillion times. People are like, yeah, there's never been a vegan Mr. Olympia. As if being 280 pounds of muscle on all sorts of steroids and insulin and growth hormone, all this stuff, as if that is the pinnacle of health or like at the example that <laughs> like what it's i don't even need to explain it. it's so stupid and the comment i got the most was how are you going to compare these two people and and use that as evidence that veganism is better for gaining muscle well if i had used a photo of a carnivore who was gigantic then vegans would be like well how come you used a bigger picture of a carnivore and then vice versa no matter what photo i use if the vegan looks better than the carnivore people are going to be like well use a different photo so there's just literally no way to win all right moving on to the next one i'm going to show you guys some pictures okay. and you're going to tell me whether or not you think they're vegan or carnivore Ooh, okay okay, okay. okay. nima delgado carnivore carnivore 
from the protein, a lot of protein. Will Brooks. No, carnivore. Yeah, the muscle. Because he's so big. So this is Torre. No, probably carnivore. Nemai. Carnivore. Because you need a lot of protein to build muscle, and it's easier to get protein that way. All right, Will Brooks. Uh, carnivore. He is like, he's like freaking huge there. Like, I don't know. He must be. I, I don't know. Even a lot of meat, I guess. We'll do Nemai. Carnivore. <laughs> I don't know. He's just very buff. How about Torre? Uh, I'm going vegan. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go meat. Yeah. So why do you think carnivore? Because just the amount of muscle he has just needs his next level amount of protein and stuff that it's just harder to get vegan. A lot of people doubt them. And I'm like, no, like you guys, like you veganism, like it works. I love how when we were shooting this, as soon as we finish asking, is this guy carnivore or vegan? People were like carnivore. They jumped on it. Super confident. Definitely a carnivore. And I love these girls at the end. They had guessed a bunch of people were carnivore. And one of the girls had actually been vegan in the past. I didn't ask why she wasn't vegan anymore, but it was cool how she finished out the, the interview by saying, you know, you guys are a great example of exactly what vegans can do. That is one of the big reasons we've been making these public interview videos is they're just really entertaining and fun. It gets you to watch, right? But then after you watch it, some of the myths that you You've heard in the past maybe are a little dispelled maybe it puts a little bit of doubt in the viewer's mind who maybe has never really looked into veganism but that you know vegans have to be skinny and you can't gain muscle without meat so with a very non-aggressive approach a little humor a little fun I think we're opening people up to the idea. All right, the next one, this one is definitely going to anger a lot of the carnivore people because this one has Sean Baker, which if you don't know him, he's a very, very popular Instagrammer, YouTuber. His name is the Carnivore MD. So he really is all about meat being the only thing you should eat and how it's healthy for you. I don't know, his argument is really stupid, but watch this. So I have pictures of some guys and I want you to tell me whether you think they're carnivore or they're vegan. Which one do you think is which? Um, vegan, carnivore. Vegan on the left? I agree, yeah. Same, yeah, you agree? Yes, I agree. So it's actually the opposite. This guy's carnivore, that guy's vegan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, this is Derek Simnet. Mm, carnivore. I'm gonna go the opposite of what I thought, so vegan. So he's vegan. <laughs> wow. Every single time I put a vegan and a carnivore up, they always guess that the carnivore is the vegan and the vegan is the carnivore. The comment section is gonna go wild. Wow. I say that because I'm vegan and I feel like I'm not, don't get enough protein, so I feel like just weak, but he doesn't. He doesn't look weak. No. Shout out Simnet. I love that she said he doesn't look weak. Simnet looks amazing, man. So obviously, Obviously I didn't put it in this clip because it's a little too long, but I talked to her afterwards because I was a little like mind blown that someone would be unsure if they were hitting their macros, their protein every single day and still eating, you know, because eventually it can catch up to you and that obviously is going to stop you from being vegan. So of course I plugged the channel because the full day eatings, that's where you're going to learn a lot of that stuff. We'll do Nimai. Carnivore. <laughs> what makes you say that? I don't know. He's just very buff. Gotta be carnivore. So he's actually vegan. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> now let's see what they say about me. Would you guys say that I'm vegan or carnivore? I'm just gonna guess by what you said, you're vegan. I might be carnivore. I think you're vegan. Is that your final answer? Yes. Vegan? Damn, they got me. <laughs> they got me. Yeah, I'm vegan. <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much. Yeah, I really appreciate you. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna assume that they thought I was vegan because of my pants. Not because... I'm skinny. <laughs> All right, let's watch this last one together. All right, so how about Torre? Uh, I'm, I'm going yo, vegan. vegan. I'm, I'm gonna go meat. Yeah. So why do you think carnivore? Because just the amount of muscle he has just needs his next level amount of protein and stuff that it's just harder to get vegan. Yeah. I'm not saying it's impossible, okay. but that that level. Okay, so Torre is vegan. Yeah. Vegan, dang. What do you think about vegans and putting on muscle? I mean, no matter what you are, if you're dedicated, you can get to it. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we all just like even like coaches in school and all that, they say like you need that protein from like your red meats and all that to, to gain the muscle and to support it. I feel like there's something that we're missing and that we're not getting that could potentially come from the vegan outlet. Um, that's just not how we're taught and how we're told to, yeah. to do that. I mean, I know it's possible. I've been vegetarian my whole life and I've been going to the gym and I've been putting on weight and muscle. So I know it's possible. Sick, dude. Yeah, yeah that's awesome, man. Have a good one. I love these kids, dude. These guys were so awesome. So starting from the top, they're saying it's probably really hard to be that jacked when it's harder to get protein in as a vegan. And that's definitely just like a, a stereotype. It's just something that we need to change over time. But absolutely, from my experience of being vegan for eight, almost nine years now, basically the same amount of time I spent non-vegan bodybuilding as now I have vegan bodybuilding, 
For me, it is literally the same amount of effort, like absolutely does not change anything, doesn't make it any more hard or time consuming, but I do know that that comes with a bit of experience. And then he was talking about how his coach was telling him, if you wanna grow, you have to eat red meat. It's kind of interesting to me, a lot of things that people are learning in school from teachers who are talking about subjects that aren't their subject. So like his football coach was telling him that he has to eat meat to gain muscle. As a, as a kid, like I, I would have listened to my coach too because I don't want to waste my time. I want to get jacked. And then I love the guy at the end saying that he's been vegetarian for his whole life. I bet you his friends didn't even know. They were probably like, wait, what? Wait, what, Jake? And he's been putting on muscle and everything. So without even knowing, he's being a great example for all, you know, five, six of his friends right there. That was cool. So a little bit of a different angle of content than I've really ever done before. I love when people do public interviews and public outreach and it's just really a fun spin on vegan content and again like i said i just feel like the vegan world needs a little less serious educational nutritional information content a little bit more fun just us goofing around and having a great time so guys please if i can ask you a favor please give me feedback on what you thought about these in the comments below should i do more of them and if you want to get an extra gold star what else should i be asking people in these interviews give me some questions give me some fun sassy controversial things to ask people i would really appreciate that in the comments below and as always if you give the video a thumbs up it helps get out to way more people people. Of course, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. Follow on Instagram where I'm posting tons of this kind of stuff. And I'll see you beautiful people in the very next video. Let's show everyone that vegans can get buff too.